Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Glenn Johnson number OH part.10531. This is really just a, ba a package of bolts for their 450 series overhead um, stops. And this video is just to serve as visual evidence of what's in the packaging. Also probably show you some supporting resources as well. So you're going to get a couple of sex bolts that are here. A couple of through bolts. A couple of flathead machine screws to go along with it. Okay. You're going to get four wood screws. They appear to be possibly a number 10. Ten by inch and a half is what that would be called. Okay. Then a couple of other machine, uh, just two uh, additional machine screws that admittedly I'm not sure just yet what those are for. So let's take a closer look. Uh, and before we dive into the supporting documentation, Glenn Johnson, like Ives, they have a different physical part number for their parts uh, based on the finish level as well. So a 10531 uh, will be the same part as the next part number but it'll be a different finish, otherwise the same item. So let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look. Okay, so here we are. So not a whole lot to see here, but we do have some images that we can take a look at. The package, what's included. Okay. Now, supporting documentation would be here under the manufacturer's link in our site, but let's first copy this part number and let's fire that document or that link open. And the Glenn Johnson, we know it's for a 450, so a Glenn Johnson overhead door stops, uh, holders and stops catalog. So we'll do a find function here for 450 and get down to the 450 series. You can see that it's a medium duty surface so it's surface mounted and it's medium duty. That's what you're looking for when you're looking at overhead stops. What is the, probably the mount type first because you probably already know what duty rating that you're uh, needing to accommodate. So an overview of the 450. Now uh, it's quite clear here that Hmm. It's clear here there might be a little bit of a problem with the quantity of items in the packaging. And I'm thinking that there is. So we have four screws. That would account for the four machine screws and the four wood screws. But there's nothing to account here for the through bolt. So what I'm saying is we can do a wood door, pardon me, we can do a metal door or a metal frame. I'm sorry, start over. We can do a, a steel frame or we can do a wood frame based on the screw packages we have. But what we aren't getting here are the through the two through bolts that are called out here in the, the C dimension. Uh, a, vertical axis of pivoting to the first screw, to the first through bolt, to the next through bolt. So I believe we're missing parts. And in fact, I'm quite convinced that we're missing parts. Let's see if we can determine what's included in this package to realize whether or not we are missing parts. And the way that we, we would do that would be to open up the price list, because if this part number is going to occur anywhere, it will be in the price list. Okay, as we have that price list uh, opened up, And we do find our part number. And very interesting, if you noticed, the female portion of the sex bolt is quite short. Um, that's because it's for an inch and three-eighths door. So the question becomes is whether or not the machine bolt is included. 
So at this point, what we need to do is I need to reach out to the factory and get a bill of materials for this whether or not uh, that's going to be included. Because the documentation that's published, I don't have any way of knowing. Um, actually, installation, let's look at the installation instructions. 450 series. It's clear we're going to need two bolts. And yeah, there's no reference to the screw package here. <clears throat> And the only other document to look at would be the template. Let's see if we have a template here easy. We do. 450. Here we go. Here's Here it is. And I was told, it's been said, I've been sitting in a DHI class with an instructor, and he said, always look at the installation instructions, always look at the template. You're not sure what you're dealing with? Always look at that. So we are clearly missing... So for the jam, we do have four of each. For the door, we are missing the 1024 by inch and a half, half panhead machine. Well, I don't know if they're flat or panhead, but we're missing these 1024 by inch and a half bolts is the bottom line. Yes, we are. So we are going to get those parts and we are going to continue with this video. Okay, now fast forward to the next day. I have received a confirmation from the factory that those machine bolts are not included with these packages. Um, I have no reason to doubt them. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a mounting package when you don't get all the bolts required for mounting. Here's what they said. Um, the document that we showed... I believe it was a 1024 thread. The 10, what, what the manufacturers said, what they said, the 1024 machine screw are not included with this part number, the OH part.10531, that you need a 1032 machine screw, uh, that it is an inch and a half long to pair up with the 1032 sex bolt included with your package, meaning meaning the female portion of it. For some reason, they say, the OH part.10531 does not include these screws. And that the 1032 thread bolt we're talking about, it's available in stainless or black. You can order the mounting package in black, which would include the 1032 machine screw that have the threading and size needed. You don't need a 1024 screw for an inch and 3 8 door thickness as they would not thread properly. It's because I had asked, where are the 1024 screws? And they're saying multiple times, you don't use 1024. Um, that being said, you can order the OH part.10533 in black, and that would include the machine screw. Um, they go on to say that when you bought the unit originally, you have the, the oil rub bronze sex bolt needed um, for this application. Um, so, you know, un until I find out otherwise, it's just not included, um, is the bottom line. Okay? So at this juncture, I have to say, that's what it's going to be. You're going to be not in receipt of the female, uh, pardon me, the male portion of this material. Uh, let's wrap up this video by moving to the screen view and just showing you a couple of additional resources. Okay, now moving forward, um, I have posted that reply from the manufacturer here. Now, what I wanted to show you was the link below this video to the manufacturer's page here, where you can view not only all of the McKinney, pardon me, uh, McKinney is uh, not associated with Glenn Johnson at all, all the Glenn Johnson products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the door holders, 
and stops catalog is here. A more uh, <laughs> a much older version of it is here, although the product line hasn't evolved very much as far as I'm as far as my memory serves. A push pull latch catalog is here, etc. So let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, uh, the name Glenn Johnson is literally synonymous with overhead stops and holders, and I think it's the name that most people related in the or to the construction industry think about first when it comes to that uh, entire product line. Uh, Glenn Johnson is under the Allegiant umbrella, which will put her sister companies at LCN, Von Duprin, Schlage, most definitely LC, along with Ives, uh, Zero, Monarch, well, Falcon, uh, others. Most certainly Glenn Johnson and LCN products go together quite often, uh, and their technical support department is phenomenal, and that's an understatement. Just tremendous folks in terms of responsiveness and expertise of the product line. To them, I say thank you. If you have any questions on the OH Part.10 531 mounting package that's not complete, apparently, or any other McKinney product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.